Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Today we have a first generation Camaro to present to you. We uh, do extremely well with the uh, first gens and uh, we have a 1968 that is a Hankster certified unit. So let's check it out. Uh, so we were sold the car uh, under the pretense that it's a 383. It is badged as a 383, but the number on the block is a 350. So we're gonna go with 350. Uh, we did not open up the internals. I don't have any paperwork on the motor. So the casting numbers are 350, but it's supposed to be a 383, stroked out to a 383. You do have power brakes there. Um, on the uh, driver's side firewall, that gold contraption there mounted. Uh, does have a cowl tag. We'll take a photo of the cowl tag and put it on our website so you can break that down if you would like to. Um, the power steering reservoir is located on the pass or driver's side front of the block. Uh, this car is not equipped with AC. We do have the AC kits in stock at the garage. If you would like to have AC added, Nate can get you a price to do that. <laughs> Red and black. Doesn't get much better than that, right? Let's start out with the paint on the car. Um, so the paint on the top of the hood here, uh, fenders, looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, that's just like a little bit of wax. Okay, no, no issue there. Um, so nice uniform color, uniform clear. Uh, no bubbles, blisters, cracks that I can see. Looks to be in pretty nice shape. Uh, your stripe on the nose, that is vinyl. It's not painted. Uh, SS badge in the center of the grill. We're going to advertise this market as an SS style, which means we are not marketing it as a true SS car. Uh, you can go on your forums and have that argument. We are not uh, marketing it as one. Um, the chrome on the front bumper looks to be in fantastic shape. Uh, those lower spoilers you're all familiar with on your first gens, plastic black. Uh, this one's in one piece. They generally come in in two pieces. People like to pull over parking barriers with them, but... Uh, American Racing Wheels, five-star American Racings. I already told you it is badged as a 383 car. Um, radial tires, of course. Uh, the paint around the uh, wheel opening there, nice shape, no blisters, bubbles, cracks, anything going on like that. Once again, your stripe is vinyl. SS Camaro badge on the driver's side front fender. And we'll pan low on the fender there so you can see that there's no uh, paint issues going on at the bottom of the uh, fender. The windshield, uh, real nice condition. We got bugs. It's raining here today, so there's bugs everywhere flying around in here outside. Uh, front windshield there uh, in really nice shape. Uh, no cracks or chips. Uh, chrome that encompasses the front windshields in nice condition. Uh, vinyl top, no issues going on up there as far as any kind of rust either around the uh, front windshield or down your uh, drip rail there on the A-pillar. Nothing going on. The uh, driver door does close nicely to the front fender to the rear quarter. The uh, bottom of the driver's door there, nice condition. Uh, glass clarity, the driver's side door glass, driver's side quarter window glass, both in real nice shape. The uh, mirrors on the car, chrome, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. Uh, looking through your five-star wheels, you will see four-wheel disc brakes. So the car does have discs up front and in the rear. Let's take a look inside. Uh, driver door. Panel's real nice. Not warped. No armrest tear. Uh, speakers in the door panel. We'll figure out if those work on a test drive. Put forward your front seat to see the uh, seat belts in the rear, OEM seat belts. The uh, headliner's in real nice shape. Carpeting in the car looks to be in nice condition. Let's check out under the floor mat. You can see there's no uh, rips, tears, discolorations of any kind. Uh, wood steering wheel. Vinyl on the driver's seat's in nice shape. Center console staple shifter automatic car. Looking good on the interior, right? How about the rear quarter? Also, notice the driver's door closes nice and flush to the rear quarter. There's no overhang on the uh, quarter or on the uh, rocker. Uh, body lines on the car, real nice. The fender, door, quarter all line up real nicely. All 
I haven't seen any paint issues to talk about just yet. So we'll see if that continues. Uh, rear windshield, in nice shape. You can see some uh, six by nines there in your speaker shelf. We'll figure out if those work on a test drive. Uh, your vinyl, all nice and solid there. No rust bubbles underneath that. You know, your areas of concern for vinyl top cars, you know, if the windshield's ever flexed either in the front or in the rear and leaked and, you know, they absorb moisture above the front windshield and then below the rear windshield. So that's why I kind of always point out those areas. Uh, how about the rear of the car? Let's start out with the deck lid. It does have a spoiler on it. Um, the paint looks to be in nice shape. Uh, chrome on the rear bumper in nice condition. Dual exhaust, chrome tips. Take a look in the trunk. Trunk mat, no jack, no spare. We didn't take it out of there. You won't be getting one with the ride. We didn't get one, so you don't get one. And then your uh, trunk pan there, you can see nice and solid, no issues going on. Passenger side. Once again, look at that door fitment to the uh, rear quarter and to the front fenders. Nice and Nice and tight, body lines on the car are good. Uh, the wheels, by the way, look to be in real great shape. We do not have any documentation on this car. When was it painted? I do not know. When was the motor rebuilt? Don't know. Um, we can't make claims to anything we can't prove and we don't have any documentation to prove when it was painted, when it was restored. So therefore, it's a driver quality 1968 Camaro that we're disclosing everything we know about in this video. Uh, the passenger side door panel, again, nice. Uh, it does seem to have a new retro radio and some speakers, so I'm gonna assume those work, but I could be wrong. We'll uh, again show you on the test drive. Uh, door panel, uh, passenger side seat, center console, everything looks to be in real nice shape. So, you know, a lot of the stuff uh, are indications to me when I see, you know, a center console looks that nice and you know, vinyl seats that look that nice and the carpeting that's not sun faded or discolored from age tells me that a, a lot of the uh, components of this vehicle are newer. Uh, passenger side door, there's no issues there. Uh, there's no issues with your striping on the car. Uh, there's no peeling, there's no cracking, fading. And then of course your front fender, you know, the same. Look around when, when we're doing these videos, you know, you kind of kind of look around the wheel openings there and, you know, low on the fenders. That's kind of where the problem areas lie on older cars, you know, usually uh, from the bottom up with, the, you know, the road debris and over the years. 1968 Camaro, small block, uh, automatic with power steering and power brakes. We're gonna put the car in the air and we'll do the undercarriage portion for you and then we'll go out and drive it. We are contending with a little bit of weather today, so we're gonna have that uh, working against us a little bit, but it is what it is, rain sometimes, you know? I do encourage you to visit our showroom here in Daytona Beach, check out this car for yourself. Uh, I did a quick walk around, we're gonna do a quick undercarriage presentation and then a, a short little test drive. We try to keep the videos to about 20 minutes in length. In that 20 minute time frame. Um, I try to cover as much as we possibly can, disclose as much as we possibly can, show you as many camera angles uh, as we can, uh, and show you how the car runs. But if you visit our showroom in person, you can look over the car for 45 minutes, an hour and a half, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, <laughs> we're in a business that's very fun. Uh, you get to buy, sell, trade these classics. It's awesome. I mean, I'm in the business and, you know, I'll be riding my bicycle down A1A or something and I'll see a 65 Mustang go by and it'll turn my head, you know, instantly because it's like, wow, you know, and I'm, I see these cars every single day and still yet when you see one out on the road, it's like awesome, you know, so it's fun, but they're not new. The paint's not new. The mechanics aren't new. You know, think about the old cell phone, right? Remember the days of the flip, the StarTech phones? Now we all have our iPhones. Somebody handed you a StarTech, like, well, what is this thing? You know, you can't do anything with this. Um, these were old vehicles. The technology that we have today wasn't there back in 1968. This car is just as nice, if not nicer, than it would have been in 1968. Um, but, you know, if you're not familiar with older cars or it's your first classic car, uh, you've never owned one before, visit our showroom, check it out in person. We have a friendly and knowledgeable sales staff to be more than happy to assist you with this vehicle or any other vehicle you might be interested in in our inventory. 
We're in a, a tourist destination. There's a lot of cool stuff to do around here, a lot of restaurants to eat at on the water. We have the beach, of course, uh, world famous uh, Daytona International Speedway. Uh, so maybe make a, a quick little weekend out of it, buy yourself a classic car, we'll ship it home for you, or you can uh, trailer it. Let's put our 68 Camaro up in the air, check out the undercarriage, and then after that we'll drive it. Underneath our 1968 Chevrolet Camaro, you have disc brakes up front, uh, long tube headers. Uh, you can get a pretty decent shot of the side of the uh, pan there. From what I can see right now, it looks to be dry. Uh, the passenger side, you can't really see so much. Starter's in the way. Tranny pan, you can see. That appears to be dry at this time. Coming down off of the headers, you go to your dual uh, exhaust, H-pipe. Let's check out the frame rails and the floor pans. Uh, the driver's side frame rail does have a frame stiffener in it. Uh, floor pans look to be in pretty good shape all the way back. Uh, speedo cables dry. Tail shaft seals dry. Passenger side. So the floor pan looks good all the way from the front all the way to the rear. Four wheel disc brakes on this car. So you have discs in the rear as well. I uh, do have a, a single muffler system uh, there going out to uh, your duals with your chrome tips. Rear end looks nice and dry. Frame rails on the car, both driver and passenger side look to be in good shape. Uh, low profile tires uh, do still have good tread. There's your wear bars down there. So when the tread gets down to the wear bars, time to replace the tire. Uh, these tires are from 2017. 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. Looks good. We're going to uh, set it down on the ground and take it on a drive. Before we do that, let's talk about our payment options. If you're a cash buyer, cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. If you need financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 15 year loans on these cars. It depends on the price of the car, your credit score, your debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, things like that. Uh, all the normal stuff underwriters look at when they're approving you for a loan. There's no prepayment penalty and it's a simple interest loan. So number one, if you have a $600 a month payment and you pay an extra $400 a month, all your additional goes directly towards your principal. Also, if you take out a seven year loan, eight year loan on the car and you pay it off in one or two, you aren't gonna get penalized for doing so. Once the vehicle is paid in full, we put it through a pre-delivery inspection process. Look, they're old cars. Anything can start leaking, stop working at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once it's through inspection, the guys green light it to go, uh, we put it through detail. Then a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within a 48 hour window. However, if you're in a more difficult or rural destination, and if you are, you probably know who you are, allow us four, five, six business days, but we will get you your vehicle as quickly as possible. The whole process happens a lot faster than you probably think it does. Even with financing, we can be funded the same day um, if you're quick on your paperwork. Um, and of course, cash, you know, depending on if you're doing a bank wire or a cashier's check, you know, things like that. But uh, generally, it's very quick uh, from the time you make the payment till the time the vehicle is sitting at your home or business. Let's put our 68 Camaro down on the ground. We'll take it on a test run and show you how the car drives. 68 Camaro, tilt, horn, wipers, tack. Clock portion of the tack is not working. We don't do clocks, so you're on your own there. Look at your watch or your phone. 12 miles is on the odometer. The reason is is because it's a brand new odometer. The last one didn't work. We had to replace it. So it, the speedometer is not functioning correctly right now. We did not have the appropriate tooth gear. We do have that on order. It'll be in tomorrow. We will put that in. It's just gear you pop in the transmission. Temp gauge, fuel gauge, oil, Battery all working and your radio works.
Sniper EFI. We're idling real nice. Headliner's in great shape. Dash pad's in great condition. Let's take it for a run. Okay, well, remember what I said earlier about 350, 383, that whole thing? If this thing isn't a 383, it's the most powerful 350 I've ever driven in my life. This thing can run. Holy cow. I drive a lot of cars. This thing's got some power. I can't really show it to you in its entirety because we just had rain. The roads are real slick, um, so I'm going to lose the back wheels instantly. But let me tell you something. This thing will get it done. Uh, Speedo, I told you, not only is it inaccurate, but it's also bouncing. We got the solution for that. Right now, we're probably doing 45 and it's reading 60. Uh, so we will rectify that. Car tracks, fantastic. Uh, this thing runs awesome. Uh, so we're cooling good on our temp. Uh, the uh, car itself, you know, as far as vibrations, any kind of tire vibration, shimmy, shake, anything like that, none. So brakes, look at that. No vibrations or pulsations out of the brakes at all. And the uh, brake start applying immediately as soon as you touch the pedal. They're uh, very touchy. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I got green. Yeah, see? <laughs> Can't tell you how fast we're doing. It's probably about 55. I don't want to take any chances with that trailer pulling out in front of me. But uh, real, real great uh, response in the throttle. That EFI kicks in, boom, you're moving. So, uh, yeah, we're probably doing about 55 right now. Steering wheel's nice and not shaking all around. Car's tracking nice and straight like it should be. Nice tight steering. The guy next to me is going to what is that guy doing? This is a pretty nice car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. So you can find all the photos of this car as well as this video presentation you're watching right this very moment. At full retail price, our 68 Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers the internal components of the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. It does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, things like that. That's on you. We just cover the end, internal components of the engine, the tranny, and the rear. Everything else, nada. Um, is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, your shipping comes off. At full retail price, we handle all of your shipping logistics. Uh, we set up the uh, pickup, vest the carrier, set up the delivery, pay the driver when they pick the car up. At a negotiated cost, you will do that legwork on your own. Maybe you have your own method of transportation. Maybe it's your own open trailer, enclosed trailer. Uh, maybe you have a driver you've used in the past that you're comfortable with. You're more than welcome to use them. Also, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you can come drive this thing home. Probably be a pretty fun drive. It's a pretty cool car. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in Daytona Beach. And our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.